one here at the sessions. I'm surprised it was beaten first up, Gator. Yeah, well, the way he trialled, I uh, was were surprised. It was a brilliant trial before the fresh run. When, uh, look, we certainly expected better. It was just even. We maybe just trialled a little bit too well. When at Terra Vista ran terrific time, and it was a better day to race handy to the speed, in fairness to him, so I'm giving another go. He steps out really quietly, this horse. He's uh, almost like he's uh, just just stepping out delicately, uh, just cruises along and hasn't got a worry in the world. He looks really well in the coat. He's a striking-looking black stallion. Uh, looks beautiful. Two is uh, iconic. He's a good Caulfield horse. He's a good horse, full stop. Uh, iconic, but he's found a hot, uh, hot addition of the uh, of the Scalacci. He has, and he's back to 1,000 metres. I guess some query. He did win at this trip, I guess, uh, prior to that. Went fresh. Uh, beat a horse called Angel's Beach back in third Angelic light and then beat to Lankan Rupee so you can make a case off all this speed okay you can see uh, not listen to me once I was off to Hong Kong got a fantastic overall record this horse you know yeah in a short career uh, he's certainly got the uh, got the ability he resumes he's uh, trialled quite well in Sydney uh, look he bolted in here first up last prep he ran good time and terrific splits prior to that he chased home Zoostar in a group one He's high class, my second pick. He's a no frill sort, this horse, and he's a real tough looking horse. Uh, looks like he, he'd love a battle. Uh, he's just a good hardy sort, and uh, he parades really fit and well, nice and forward. Of course, Damien Oliver going for six wins in the Scalacci, of course, the favourite sprinter of the, the great jockey. And this will be his sixth when he won the race last year, of course, on unpretentious as we look at overreach and uh, trialled up brilliantly for a return after such a long break. Mm, what's that brilliant trial, wasn't it? Uh, unbeaten below. 1400 last prep in one of those took out a golden slipper uh, the aggregate margin was 12 lengths she looked very uh, fit to my eye and she's here to run a big run I'm sure Gaga's excited most days of the race but she'd be thrilled to see overreach back Gaga yeah what a thrill Gay to have overreach back 18 months since we've seen one of your favorite girls back She's outstanding, uh, Mayor. She hasn't raced, as you said, for a long time, Jason, but she's done everything right. I couldn't be happier with her. Uh, she's, uh, she blitzed them in a trial. No, right, she's only had the one trial. Um, and it's, uh, it's hard. Has she made the weight for each improvement? I believe she has. Okay. You wound up ready to go absolutely first up? No, she's not, she's not wound up, but she's certainly fit enough and performed well enough for me on the track to, uh, to be very effective here today. Well, it's fantastic to see you on Caulfield Guineas Day. Thank you. Thanks, Jason. Mm -hmm. There's a gay, great girl, uh, the great lady of racing overreach is Platlet, another terrific uh, mare who resumes here. Won a 955 first up last campaign. This is a bit different, uh, but she's certainly uh, a quality sprinter. Yeah, she did that that win you're talking about with 58 and a half giving weight to males. It was a really good win. Fresh up prior to that, she ran well at weight for age in McEwen Stakes. Carisio, moment of change. Multiple group one winner has the class. Yeah, he's got a pretty good record in this race, although the last meter win it was okay. That was Black Caviar. <laughs> won it twice. Here's Gregors, who's a mayor, of course, and probably the 1400 was, was a, a, a tough ass for uh, her in the left alone. Back to Caulfield, back to this trip. Course and distance unboot. Yeah, well, everyone was saying that she was looking for the 1400, including the stable, and then she ran and it faded, and they, they come back to the sprint. The previous wins were terrific, good winning form behind them, running great splits in both of those wins. And the th sole three-year-old here is uh, Rubik trying to do what the likes of Willander, Halle Berry and Mastigic have done to win this race. Mastigic, of course, one of uh, Ollie's wins in the race. It was a good trial win for mine over all the horses. First two wins were outstanding in fast times. The win at start number two, he was pressured up front in a diamond lead up and just kept running. Look, his only defeat was at 1,200. That's the field. The other tips from uh, David Gutley. And now he trains, not listening to me. And here he is with Richo. He's in town, he's looking styling, and so he's not listening to me. A thousand metres, I suppose, Gary's the first question. Well, could be a trifle short, but um, the horse as well. It's first time out uh, this prep, and uh, I expect him to run very well. A real quality sprint field here, but he's up to it? Oh, he definitely is. I mean, he's a, he's a class act. Um, but, you know, he's coming back off an illness, and uh, um, like some of the others, but, I mean, I feel that he's got the class to to hopefully do the job for us. And you're happy with the prep leading in? Oh, definitely. It looks great. Great to see you. Thank you. Set racing. Uh, Rubik jumped fairly on the inside. Platelet and Overreach began fast and so did not listening to me. He's right up there on the speed as they settle down. Iconic and Sessions go back. They put 200 behind them. And Overreach holding her place off the row. The leader from Rubik with the fence and then Gregors and Platelet. A length further back is not listening to me. Two to Sessions and a length and a half to Iconic. Inside the 600, Overreach the leader, but she's off the fence. And Rubik's got through on the inside and heads her now. Two in front of Gregors, one to Platelet. 
Chocolate and then came not listening to me and a length and a half to Sessions and Iconic. Around the turn, the three-year-old Rubik first for the judge from overreach the outside. Greg is putting in a run and then Fleetland and then came not listening to me. Rubik at the 200. He leads narrowly overreach coming at him. Platelet going for a split and then Gregors. Rubik kicking on strongly. Overreach can't reach him. It's Rubik kicking on strongly. The three-year-old Kieran again. Rubik scored. Platelet got through to get second. Overreach might hold Iconic for third and then Gregors. Not listening to me and Sessions. Big day for Kieran McAvoy. They've gone slick time here. 56-68. Rubik a touch tardy away, but rallied up along the fence to keep uh, overreach out and around the corner. And McAvoy gets three of the first four here today at uh, Caulfield. And that sustains But Good to have him back, the three-year-old, uh, to take on the older sprinters here. Of course, he was uh, a target for the Caulfield Guineas, you would have thought, early in the season. But a slight setback, and he misses out. But he gets a, a return win here in a very hot Scalacci stakes in good time. He wins, a plot that excellent overreach, just a little bit of work early to try and take position. I think we'll get uh, we'll get third, we'll get that confirmed shortly, but certainly seven Rubik from five plot, and all on is clearly the winner. Yeah, true, had to uh, muster up, and he's got great speed, leg speed, hasn't he? He went through on the inside and held out overreach, who also has that brilliant early speed, and then was bolting on the turn with his 53 and just kept going too well for them. Uh, Platelet just got the speed inside, got the split one off every chance, but a pleasing return from her. She's a ripper. And third overreach, who, uh, as you mentioned, Bruce, did that little bit of work early, set up, set up outside the speed, then was under pressure, responded well to that. She's battled on well in the straight. First up off that long break, fourth in was the two here. Uh, Iconic, who's closed the race off and just missed third. Uh, the disappointment, probably not listening to me, who uh, looked to travel well and didn't finish his race off. Seven, five, four, and two, a length on the line by a neck. You mentioned that time.